Hi, I'm Nish Rattar. And I'm Mason McLean. I would like to talk about the information Miss Greenwood sent us. It was really nice to hear from her and see her on video. Yes, and to hear about her experiences. What did you think about the fact she wanted to be a, cu a courier or messenger during the Second World War? I think it sounds really exciting, especially if there were blackouts, although this does sound a bit dangerous too, as surely there were cars on the road then as well. But I think it's brilliant that she wanted to help out in the war effort. But then she had to join the fire service instead, didn't she? Yes, she did, and she didn't even get to fight fires. She just had to take all the phone calls which came in reporting fires and decide, it, and decide which appliances to send out. I think it's because there weren't any female firefighters then. I wonder if she was disappointed, as that doesn't sound as exciting as being a messenger. Maybe, but she still played a very important role in the war effort. Was there a lot of work for the fire service to do in Rockchild during the Second World War? Were there any bombs dropped in our town? I think there was only one near Tesco in Sudden, and Mrs Greenwood told us that she wasn't in constant fear and actually slept through an air raid siren. Do you think she had to wear a gas mask? We have to wear these masks all the time at school and when we were out and about. She says she had to carry a mask at all times, but there weren't any gas attacks. How, how much do you think life has changed in 2021 compared to what she went through? They are both difficult times for people. True, I think there were some differences though, like they didn't have social media or Zoom calls so it wasn't as easy to keep in touch with people and check they were safe. We don't have blackouts today or evacuations, but there aren't any bombs. Oh, and we certainly shouldn't be mingling or sheltering with lots of other families during this coronavirus pandemic. We are supposed to isolate or meet in small groups if it's safe, not like hu huge groups in bomb shelters. Any similarities though? We are living in dangerous times too and people are dying from the virus. Masks are compulsory for us too due to the pandemic. Although people in the war only had to carry them in case of emergency, we have to wear them. I suppose there has been some rationing too, like when people were panic buying, but obviously there was a lot more rationing in the war. I also like Miss Greenwood's quote, it was an endurance test. You wanted it to end quickly by victory and that's how I feel about Covid and the lockdowns. I totally agree. Mrs Greenwood is an inspirational lady and I'm so glad we had the chance to correspond with her.